What's up guys, it's James Ferrer from AppMaker University, and today we're gonna to talk about AppMaker's new pop-up pages features. It adds five awesome ways to customize your app. Let's head on over to the computer and we'll check out how this works. I thought we'd start today with a walkthrough of what all these different things do so you can conceptualize how they work uh, and how I've implemented them here just to give you a demonstration. If you really wanna dive in deeper, I'm gonna go through all the steps in the editor uh, in another video that you can find at AppMaker University in the member section uh, that will go in depth of how you actually implement these things in your app. But for now, let's just take a look and see what these things do. So the first thing that we have is this notifications. Let's take a look at that. Just see it zips right in there uh, and it just gives us this nice pop-up dialogue. But I really like the animation because we can make it slide in from the side, we can make it come down from the top, the bottom, left, right, and also just kind of fade in too. So it's got some really nice features there uh, as far as making that just a, a much more dynamic pop-up than what we we're seeing in the dialogues that we had in the past. Uh, the next thing that we have is a lot of times when you have a UI going like this, you'll have all kinds of things uh, happening. You might be loading a bunch of data in the background and while that's going on, the user could be clicking on other things and creating new records and just messing up the whole flow of things. And so we can just disable all the different components that they might click on, but that's kind of tedious. Another way we can do that is we could use this new uh, model loading spinner that just pops up in the middle here and it gives us this glass effect that's what it's called here when we kind of gray everything out but we have something bright in the middle and so I can click all over the screen here and and it's not going to do anything at all uh, because it's 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 stopped by that spinner so we would normally turn that on while the loading process is going on and then when we're done with our processing we turn that back off and then we'd be able to access the UI again uh, for what I'm going to do here I'm just going to use one of the features of it which is to hit the escape key and that's going to take us right back to the UI so we can actually work on it again and be able to select things. So that's another cool way of, of adding a feature to your app there. Uh, and now another one is here in this snacks. Check it out. Right here at the bottom, it pops up with this nice little dialog. We've seen this in a lot of other Google pages, so it's nice to see they've implemented it kind of here. Uh, some of the, the different Google services like Drive and things have this little pop-up that comes up from the bottom. And so it looks really nice. Uh, it slides up from the bottom there. You can also make it slide down from the top and come in from the sides as well, just like the others. They all have that feature. So um, really nice, very great implementation. Uh, you can customize the message and do that kind of thing. Um, another thing that we might do often is, you know, we have these delete buttons and it never fails that at some point somebody's going to ask you and say, well, you know, I didn't really mean to delete that. It just deletes instantly. And even though I did click it and that's what I kind of did, you know, couldn't it just ask me before it actually deletes something permanently? And so what they have now is they have this confirmation pop up that allows us to do that one extra step to make sure that we want to actually delete this and when we click that button we can run that and actually delete the, the item in the table instead of having it instantly delete without any kind of warning. Um, so that's the cool and now for the star of the show let's open up the menu. That's right we now have built-in just pop-up menu support and it takes literally seconds to, to implement this. You don't have to go through all the CSS and all the things that we were having to do in building those dialogues. You can just implement it right here. Uh, and it's really nice, slides in and out. Of course, you can make it come in from the right side. You can make it come from the top, from the bottom and have a lot of different kinds of motion going on there. So very nice implementation. So those are the five different new features that we have. And uh, please, you know, subscribe to our videos. We're going to be bringing out a whole lot more of these. Check us out at appmakeruniversity.com. And if you really want to get in depth, make sure you check out that member section where I'm going to go pop up by pop up and show you how these things actually work in your app. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.